In this video, we're going to demonstrate how you return an Apple iPhone back to its factory defaults. Typically, you would perform a factory reset if you intend to lend, sell, or give away your iPhone. This is because the reset process will deregister your handset from your iCloud account and remove any personal data, settings, and any downloaded content. In order to perform a factory reset, we recommend that you have at least 60% battery charge or you are connected to the mains. You also need to make sure that the iPhone is able to connect to the internet so that it can automatically deregister itself from your iCloud account. If from the home screen, we select settings. Now from within settings, we need to locate and choose general. If we scroll through the list of options in general, we need to locate and select transfer or reset iPhone. We're now presented with three options. Get started will allow us to transfer everything on this phone to a new phone. Reset, which will allow us to reset specific settings and can be very useful when troubleshooting certain issues with an iPhone. And finally, the option to wipe our iPhone. After selecting Erase All Content and Settings, we are now informed that we're about to reset our iPhone and told all personal data will be removed along with our Apple ID. When we select Continue, as our iPhone is passcode protected, we now need to unlock our iPhone. The iPhone will now try and send a backup to our iCloud account. We're next prompted for our Apple ID password so that we can turn off Find My and Activation Lock. After entering the password, we're asked to confirm that we wish to wipe our iPhone. Let's select Erase iPhone. The iPhone will now return itself back to its factory defaults. It's important that while the iPhone is being factory reset, you do not attempt to remove it from its power supply or power it down. The reset process will be complete when you're prompted to set up your iPhone. It will only be at that stage that it will be safe to power down your phone.